This short video is about the use of rubrics within Google Classroom for the purposes of assessment and providing feedback to pupils and students. In order to get started, um, an assignment needs to be created. Here is an assignment that I have saved in my drafts. So I'm going to add a rubric to this assignment. So the assignment involves um, collecting data and drawing a bar chart. I have some instructions in here for my pupils. I've also attached a PDF copy of a tally sheet that came from my Google Drive. A copy has been made for each student and over here I can create a rubric. So when I click on rubric you can see I can create one from scratch or I can reuse a rubric that I've already created. I'm going to start by creating a rubric. The first thing I want to look out for is a title. And I'm going to give for the first level one point. I'm going to use emojis here. So for one point, I will give um, a sad face. And the description here is um, the title is messy and unclear. So this is the second level. For this level, I will give two points. Um, use a smiling face. And then third level, three points. Okay, so that is my first criterion. Below, I can add a second criterion. Um, this criterion will refer to the axes. And you can add up to 50 criteria on each rubric. Once you are happy with the rubric, you can save it. And now that rubric has been attached to the assignment. So I'm going to assign this to um, my pupils. So I'm going to switch over to the student view. And when the student goes into classwork, they can see that that assignment is there waiting for them to be completed. So the student clicks into the assignment. You can see there are the instructions that were provided. The attachment of the tally sheet is there and then the rubric is also there. So this is basically signposting to the student exactly what you're looking for and the expectations that you have of them when completing this assignment. Returning to the teacher view and classwork, when I click into the assignment, I can see that a student has turned it in. And here I can have a look at the work that the student has completed. On the left are the um, files that have been submitted. And then on the right, I can look at my rubric while I'm correcting the work. So this drop down here will show each of the criteria descriptions and I can um, choose to assign those grades as I go. And once I'm happy with the grades, I can return the work to the student. Moving back to the student view, the students can see their total score and also where they fall on the rubric.